Hello, this is your friend Tim, and I'm telling you all about the exciting adventure I had one Christmas with Jump Jump of Holiday House, the little elf who was no feet three. prisoners of the ice cream. Yes, Mary Holiday, Jump Jump, and the other folks from Holiday House and myself had been captured just as we were sending the reindeer home to Santa Claus. At least we had saved Christmas because now that the reindeer were free, Santa would be able to visit the children on Christmas Eve. Of course, we were being held prisoner by the ice cream, but with the Christmas fairy watching over us, we knew there was still hope for escape. In just a minute, I'll go on with my story. to stand against the wall in her tower room. While she stood and looked at us with her cold green eyes, we all stared back at her, wondering what she was going to do with us. Even little Jump Jump's face, as he sat on Mary Holiday's shoulder, was very sober, and for once he wasn't jumping up and down. I regret losing the reindeer. However, it really doesn't matter to me, since now you are my prisoners. That doesn't matter, Ice Queen. For as soon as the reindeer are home again with Santa Claus, he can start packing his sled and getting ready to visit the children everywhere. Tim is right. You've lost your chance to destroy Christmas, Ice Queen. Yes. Nothing you can do now will stop the children from having their Christmas on Christmas Day. Stupid clown. Quiet. No wonder you're dressed like a fool, for only a fool would not see that I can still destroy Christmas. But Santa's <laughs> reindeer are safe, Ice Queen. And even if you keep us prisoners forever, you still can't stop Santa now. Stop that old talk. Stop it. I cannot understand you. Jump, jump. Shh, be quiet, please. Instead of talking, concentrate on wishing for the Christmas fairy. Oh, Christmas fairy, are you near us now? We can't see you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, she is here, Mary Holiday. The Christmas fairy is right in the tower room. Hear that, Sleepy Slim and Poet? Hear the Christmas fairy's voice? No, no, no. I do declare her voice is here. Yes. Even though she still is invisible to us, we know that now there is hope, since the Christmas spirit is here. Hope. Hope. Oh, what an ugly word. Hope. Merry holiday. In my palace, even the Christmas spirit has no power. That isn't true, Ice Queen. When you tried to keep the reindeer from flying up into the air and home to Santa Claus, it was the Christmas spirit who gave him the power to move. Yes, it sure was. Yes, indeed it was. Yes, yes it indeed. was. Yes, indeed it was. Quiet, quiet, all of you. Let the Christmas spirit, or your Christmas fairy, as you prefer to call her, Whisk you out of my palace if she is so very powerful. <laughs> the, Christ, the Christmas fairy told us that to save the reindeer was not the only reason we were brought to the palace, Ice Queen. Not the only reason, Mary Holiday? No, there was another reason, a very important one. And what was that? To save you, Ice Queen. Yes, to save you. 
You yes. saved the ice cream? I don't understand that, Mary Holiday. Yes. Of course you don't understand, little boy. It makes no sense at all. How could you save me? Look at you. Hmm? Well, I think we're all right. I like What's it. What's the matter with us? <laughs> oh, first you, Mary Holiday. And what are you? A very pretty young woman who spends her time in such dull routines as baking pies and telling stories. <laughs> and as for the clothes you wear, aprons. <laughs> but my aprons are very pretty. I enjoy wearing them at Holiday House. Mary Holiday makes good pies. Yes, she makes good pies and tells good stories, too. Why, I can go to sleep quicker on one of Mary Holiday's stories than any stories I know. And you, a sleepy old word out lion, all you do is sleep and eat. What could you possibly do to save me? Ice Queen Sleepy Slim is old, but he's very wise, and his heart is kind and warm. You three the sleepy slim alone. And the clown. The clown. Archie Pelagley. He's so foolish even his name makes no sense at all. My name? My name is Pagliacci, cut in half, pronounced uh, hindside backwards, that's all. A fool, a fool, a fool. I'm a jolly old clown and I never do frown and I make little children laugh with glee. And how could you save me? As for the young man who dreams and calls himself a poet, ha, a rhyming word, ha, a foolish man of sentiment. And then next, an elf, jump, jump, a three-inch elf who can't even talk plain. All of these, in the company of a child, are sent by the Christmas spirit to save me. <laughs> you, you can make fun of us all you like, cold ice queen, but just the same, we shall save you, as well as Christmas. Christmas is part of everything and everybody. Christmas is a bit of all the things we represent. You make fun of me because I take care of Holiday House and bake pies and tell the children stories. Christmas is a holiday at every house. And Christmas is part pie and cookies. And it's the sweetest story ever told. And Christmas time is part old and wise like Sleepy Slim. And it's the laughter of the children on Christmas Day, as Archie Pogley told you. And the poet, he may be a man of sentiment and pretty words, but so is Christmas. It's love for one another, and the carols and verses about peace on earth, goodwill to men. Jump Jump may be just a little elf, but he's whimsy and fun, imagination and joy. Without such as he, Santa Claus could hardly be. And here's Tim, the little boy. He's a child, like you said, Ice Queen, but he's the most important part of all. Christmas without children is no Christmas at all. The ice queen has a frozen heart, Mary Holiday. It does no good to talk to her. I have said that there will be no Christmas, and I can prove that I am right. The ice queen is sitting down in front of the big screen. Well, what is she going to show us now? Through her magic mirror, she can look every place in the world. She's touching that switch. It's like a big television screen. Look at the pictures whirling around on the screen. Look! What is she going to do, Mary Holiday? I, I don't know, Jump Jump. Silver screen of magic skill, yield thy wonders to my will. Turn thy mirror without pause to the workshop of Santa Claus. Look, 
As a famous man once said, look, there's a picture, picture forming on the screen. Oh, yes. look. Why, it's Santa's workshop. I can see it as plainly as if I were there. Yes, it's Santa's workshop, all right, Tim, where he makes all the toys he takes to the children on Christmas Eve. Oh, there's Santa Claus himself. Yes, the reindeer are safe at home. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, yes, there they are. There's still something wrong. Why? Huh? Why? You What's the matter? You see how sad Santa Claus looks? And he sits there shaking his head. Yes? Mm -hmm. And the workshop looks just the same as when they left it. All the toys are still on the shelves and tables. When well, not a thing has been packed into the sleigh. Stupids. Stupids. Do you not understand? I told you there would be no Christmas. Why? Why not? What do you mean, Ice Queen? Why hasn't Santa Claus begun to pack because his sleigh? Because he's a soft-hearted, foolish old man. He cannot bear to think of you, his friends, held prisoner here. So, instead of packing his sleigh for Christmas Eve, he is planning to make the long journey here to my ice palace to rescue you. <laughs> no. <laughs> here? But if Santa Claus comes here... What will happen to Christmas? There will be no Christmas. By the time Santa Claus reaches the ice palace here, Christmas Eve will be over and gone. I know, Archie Pogley. I know. Oh, he shouldn't come. He shouldn't. Now that you are convinced, I'll turn off the magic screen. You're mean, Ice Queen. You're so mean, Ice Queen. Oh, you're mean. Yes, how can you be so mean, Ice Queen? Why do you want to destroy Christmas? Little boy, Christmas is a silly, old-fashioned superstition. People should forget it. That's not so, Ice Queen. No. You can't say that. Christmas is the happiest time of the year. Everyone needs Christmas to make them remember to be kind to one another. Listen, as a famous man once said, I've had enough of this. Quiet. Come along, Quiet. come along, everybody. Quiet. It's time to act. One step near that door and I shall turn you to ice. Oh, Archie Pogley, Archie Pogley, do be careful. Well, what should I do, Christmas Fairy? Please do something to help us. Please help us, Christmas Fairy. Oh, how glad I was to hear that beautiful music that told the Christmas Fairy was near. I was sure she would be able to do something. Tomorrow, I'll tell you how the whole adventure ended. And what happened to the Ice Queen, Jump Jump, and all the others from Holiday House? Goodbye. Goodbye.